welcome back to today's vlog my name is lauren if you're new and today i am spending the day prepping for ramadan i just got back in town yesterday after being out of town for two weeks so i literally feel like my life is in shambles i need to unpack i have like just so much to clean and so much work to do i'm just gonna kind of take you guys along through the day so i went to visit usama in north carolina for a week and then i went to barbados for a week and it was the most one of the most fun vacations i've been on it was like the perfect mix of adventure and relaxation the beaches oh my god i have never seen beaches that beautiful the water is like crystal clear and the sand is like that powdery white sand the food was so good we were there with our friends and we honestly just had the best week but now it's like back to reality today is like an icky monday i'm just ready to get this day over with but i'm actually really excited for ramadan this year i have a lot of goals and things i want to work on inshallah the past two years i've done a little series here on my channel called ramadan with lauren where i vlog pretty much every day and then post like every other day and for some reason this year i was just like okay maybe like people aren't interested um like i'll just do like one vlog a week and then do mainly tiktoks but when i mentioned that you guys were like no please do the series like people were saying how much they really enjoyed it and that makes me so happy so i am going to be doing it this year and i'm really excited like if you guys like to watch it then i will definitely do it so i guess this will be the first video of the series just like prepping and getting our lives together so we can start ramadan on a clean slate i brought two large checked bags with me and i actually wore every single thing that i brought but there's like a lot of clothes so i have a bunch of laundry to do and we're just gonna unpack everything so like i said i pretty much wore everything so i need to wash it all i have my laundry hamper here so i'm just gonna put all the dirty clothes in here it's funny because at first all my stuff was like super organized in the packing cubes and towards the end I was literally just like throwing stuff in the bags. And there's so much sand in my bag. I haven't been on like a beach trip in a while and I forgot that like sand just gets everywhere. And so I'm going to need to like vacuum it out or something. I love this little Amazon bag. It went with everything. I had to step it with some pajamas because it's like really flat on its own. One morning, me and Usama went walking on the beach and we collected all these really pretty, like, rocks. I had never seen anything like this before. This one is pink and it was shaped like a heart. Isn't that so pretty? It's like sea glass. There's green, blue, more green. This one's clear. They're just so pretty. I don't know what oof I'm going to do with them, but I want to keep them. These were my favorite shoes that I brought, but I wore them like literally on a hike one day, which was so stupid. And they're ruined, which is really sad because I think they're so cute. So this is now the mess that we're dealing with. This is clean stuff to hang that up. And all this is dirty. So lots of laundry to do.
I just threw some clothes in the wash and I'm gonna unpack all of my makeup. This body wash is empty. I'm gonna go ahead and like wipe everything down because something that leaked in here, I think it was my sunscreen, and everything's like oily and wet. So I'm gonna wipe everything with the Clorox wipe. So I hadn't seen Elena in two weeks since I was gone and she is at my house today and I literally missed her so much. Like I love that little girl and I'm just obsessed with her. When she saw me, she, she calls me Lulu because that's like my family nickname. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but like literally my parents don't call me Lauren. They call me Lulu. Like that's my name to them. And if they do call me Lauren, it's either because they like forgot my name for a second or they're like speaking about me to someone else but yeah they like never call me Lauren but anyway she calls me Auntie Yu Yu and she's just so sweet Michelle Washington has grown up so much I feel like at this age like literally you don't see them for two weeks and then you feel like they're a brand new little toddler when you see them again so my mom's giving her a bath in the tub and I was just playing with her she's so so cute so I do want to set some goals this Ramadan but I just want to make sure they're realistic so that I'm more likely to accomplish them because I know like in the beginning of Ramadan like you're super motivated to like I don't know be on top of everything and then towards the end if your goals are like way too unrealistic then you just like fall off of everything and basically do like the very bare minimum. I just want to set a little bit more realistic goals so I'm able to follow through and actually keep up with them. I mentioned this on my TikTok. I don't think I mentioned it here on YouTube, but I really want to memorize a few more surahs. I feel like I used to know so many more when I was younger, but I don't know, as I've gotten older, I've just gotten in the habit of like saying the same ones over and over again when I pray, and I know that there's at least like five or six that I know, but I just need like a little refresher on, so that's gonna be my goal this Ramadan. I also wanna start listening to some Islamic podcasts when I'm like driving or just like I don't know, doing things like this, cleaning or whatever. So um, if you guys have any recommendations, please leave them down below. I think it'll be helpful not only for me, but for everyone else. So I will do my own research and um, obviously let you guys know which ones I start listening to, but if you already have any recommendations, leave them down below. So this is actually a really bittersweet Ramadan because it's my last one at home with my family and like I honestly don't even know how to feel about that. I just feel like that is so sad. I just can't believe like my time at home has ended. Like it's just such a weird feeling. Like I'm honestly trying not to think about it because I know if I think about it too hard, like I just will like start crying and be really upset. But I'm just trying to think of it as temporary thing, even though it's not, I don't know. I think I'm just like not wanting to process it yet because it's just like too much to handle and the hard thing is in north carolina like it's just going to be me and usama like we don't have any family around um like i wish i had like my in-laws or just somebody nearby there's not even a big muslim community in the town that we live, are going to live in um it's like literally me and him are the only two muslims so not really but there's just not a very big community at all the nearest mosque is probably like an hour to 45 minutes away from where we are. So that's definitely going to be kind of hard. Like I was talking to Amanda and obviously this is her first Ramadan, like not um, at home. So she's really nervous about like cooking and just, I don't know, when you're at home with your family during Ramadan, it's just like a very homey, like cozy, warm feeling. I'm sure um, you guys know what I'm talking about. And so she's like nervous about that. And then she was like, well, at least like, I'll just go eat at my in-laws house and I'm like oh my god I'm not even gonna have that but alhamdulillah like I know it's gonna be okay and we will get through it together me and Usama like at least we will have each other which I know will probably even bring us even closer to each other I'm sure many of you can relate if you've moved away from your families and you like don't have any in-laws or like family at all around time is going by so fast and our wedding is basically like one month away exactly so I am just like freaking out. The other day I had a nightmare about my wedding that I forgot to hire a hairstylist and also that when I got to the wedding venue they had like redesigned it and completely changed it. It looked nothing like it did when I first saw it and I was just like oh my god it has begun. Like I always hear brides talking about how they have dreams that like something about their wedding goes completely wrong and I guess mine has officially started. 
We actually have a meeting with our wedding planner tomorrow and I'm so excited because I just feel like she is just gonna come in and like save the day. Like I just, I'm so overwhelmed, I can't do it anymore. I'm gonna reorganize this and put it back in my containers. Okay, things are looking a little better. Clean the vanity. All my suitcases are unpacked. I still have some stuff up there, but we're just gonna deal with that later. And also during Ramadan, like I never get thirsty. My problem is hunger. And I know a lot of people are opposite. Like some people say they only get thirsty, like the food doesn't bother them. But for me, it's definitely the food part. Um, and since I don't drink a ton of caffeine, like thankfully I don't get caffeine headaches, which is great because I know that's a big problem for some people. But for me, it's just like the food and being super tired and low energy. And also, I don't know what I'm going to do with my workouts this month because I'm paying for F45. It's very expensive and um, I want to like get my money's worth, but I'm not going to go in the morning because that'll just be way too hard. I'm thinking about going in the evening, but the latest class is at 5.30 and I think Maghrib here is like around... 7 30 or 8 so by the time i finish i'll still have like maybe an hour and a half until iftar which might be doable i'm gonna try it one day and just see how it goes but i definitely want to do some sort of physical activity during ramadan i have my wedding coming up and i just need to like do something i can't fall off the entire month we do have a treadmill here so i might do like 12 3 30 um at night after i break my fast but i want to open all of my packages that i got while i was out of town my mom puts them in amanda's old room i got quite a few things so i'm just gonna move these into um my office and then we can open them i'm gonna start with this one from say Okay, this is beautiful. Oh, they came out with foundations. It looks like they came out with some foundations. So this is their Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. I love this. I took it on my trip with me and it makes your face like so nice and glowy. This is a makeup brush and then here are the foundations. Let's do this one next from The Way. I think this is a body wash. Yes, oh my goodness. I have a body cleanser, a body cream, which is just like a body lotion, and then a scalp and body scrub. I've used this one before and it smells so good. These are some products from One Size. I've actually never tried anything from their brand. This is from Glow Recipe. Oh, my be real just went off. Cute. I just downloaded it um, when I was in Barbados because my friend Farah has it and she was like, Lauren, why the heck do you not have the rails? So I just got it and it's so fun. Let's see, it's a strawberry BHA pore smooth blur drops. This is from Kopari. I love their body wash and their body scrub. Yay, this is from YSL. I already know what this is because I've seen other girls post it, but I think it is lipstick. So I have this one, I was using it a ton in Barbados. It's like a very, very sheer pink and they smell like candy. There's some really pretty like darker shades, so I'm excited to try these. I got some stuff from the Veil collection. This is from their Ramadan collection. So as you can see, I got some really pretty colors. This is kind of out of my comfort zone, but I just thought they were way too pretty not to get so i will be styling these a little later on on instagram and tiktok there's a few more things also from build collection i got some really pretty like open abayas there's actually one more thing i wanted to share from zaka the label this is her two-piece abaya set and i have seen it on and it looks absolutely stunning i got the nude color i think it came in like a blue 
a green, a white, and this color. But it's two pieces, so this is the underneath abaya. It's like a long sleeve maxi. It also comes with a matching hijab, which is perfect. And then this goes over top. How gorgeous is that? The ruffles. Look at the sleeves. I'm so excited. I think it'll be so cute with like some heels and a fun bag. I'm actually super excited to style some abayas this year and share with you guys because I have never had any cute ones in the past. So I'm excited to have some that I actually like. Hello everyone. It is a few hours later. I've had like the weirdest day. I don't know. I've just felt like super off. I think it's just like getting back into the swing of things. And yeah, thankfully it's the end of the day and maybe we can have a better day tomorrow, but I just opened up a huge Amazon haul. Um, I'm gonna post it over on TikTok, but I got um, this little side table. Let me see if I can show you guys. So I've been wanting something like a small table that I can put on the side of my couch because I like to like sit here in the mornings and like drink my tea or coffee and I never have anything to put my drink on. So I got this little side table. I think it was like under $100 and it's really cute. Like I really, really like it. And also I got this incense tray that I'm gonna start burning during Ramadan because it just gives me Ramadan vibes. I don't know. So we're gonna burn it now and I'm excited. I love incense, like it smells so good. This is just the one that came with the tray, but I also ordered a whole like pack of different scents. We'll see what this one smells like. How does this work? I'm not even sure. Oh no, I think I burnt it. I'm confused because I've never used incense before. Like, is it supposed to light like a candle? Um, let's see. It's not smoking. We're just gonna leave it and see what it does. I feel like I ruined it. So after I opened up all my boxes, I had to clean my office and that took forever. Whenever I get a bunch of boxes, it's like a lot of trash and things that I just have to take care of, but I always like recycle all of the boxes. Then I did my makeup, I had a campaign to film, so I did that and then I had dinner. We ate um, salmon, potatoes, and Caesar salad. For some reason, I'm like not satisfied. Um, I don't know if I'm like still hungry, but it's like something is missing. Okay, so let me tell you guys this funny thing. So every Ramadan, Usama has been doing this for years. Um, he like cuts out all processed sugar. Like he doesn't even do honey, like only like fruit and dates is the only sugar he eats. Um, and like no processed carbs or anything like that. He does that every Ramadan. He did it last Ramadan and he's gonna do it again this year. So he's trying to get me and my parents to do it with him. And I'm like honestly considering it because I definitely feel like I have a sugar addiction. Like I always need something sweet, um, especially since being around him. Like he, Usama loves dessert, like his favorite thing. Anytime he goes to a restaurant and looks at the menu, first thing he looks at is a dessert. Like he does not even care about food. Oh my gosh, in Barbados, I swear I had dessert with every single meal. So I'm glad Ramadan is here because I need to do like a detox. But I'm honestly considering it because I feel like it would be a really good time. Um, when else would I be able to do this? It would definitely be much easier if like we were together. Actually, I didn't think about that. If he does this every year, then next Ramadan, <laughs> I'm going to have to do it. Well, I don't have to, but um, I feel like I would be more pressured to. I just love dessert during Ramadan, like knefe, ataif, oh my god, it just sounds so good. So we'll see, I'm thinking about maybe doing it just like a couple of times a week, I don't know if I'll be able to do it every day, especially if I'm the only one in my family doing it, it's just like the motivation is not there. So I'm gonna go wash my makeup off and I put this little dessert in the freezer, I'm sure you guys have seen me make these before. But um, you take a date and you obviously put it, cut it in half, and then put peanut butter inside. Usually I don't put it in the freezer, 
but I did this time and I feel like it's gonna be so good. And also it would be even better if you like dipped it in chocolate. I don't know if I've shown you guys this, but we've added a new member to the crew. The wrist towels. Oh my goodness, these are game changing. I absolutely hate when water drips down my arms, gets my sleeves wet, especially if I have a self tan on. It's like streaks and streaks and it's just like disgusting and I hate it. But this is like literally catches all the water and at first when I see people do this, I'm like, mm, probably doesn't work, but it does. Like there is no water that comes through. It's solid. Okay, you guys, I came back to the incense. I had my dad help me, and now it's burning and it smells so good. I need to do like a few tidying things in my room. I washed all my laundry, everything is clean. I just need to fold it and put it up, which is the worst part. And then I wanna vacuum and just make sure everything is away and then set up like my prayer area because I wash my prayer rug and my prayer clothes to be fresh and nice for Ramadan. I just got my prayer clothes out of the dryer so I'm going to fold them up and put them in this basket right here. So this is my little prayer corner. I've showed you guys this before, but this little rug slash prayer mat is from H&M. It's technically not a prayer mat. I just use it as one. And then my little basket is from H&M Home as well. I throw all my prayer clothes in there and just tuck it over there on the side and it's perfect it's just nice to start off the month with a clean space and clean clothes clean laundry i actually did my sheets um, i washed them right before i left so i probably won't wash them um again till like next week since i haven't even slept in this bed i feel a lot better after getting all of that done i was so overwhelmed today because i just had like a lot to do but alhamdulillah I got most everything done. I still need to edit this video and a few other things, but I'm gonna go make a tea and then eat my little um, date peanut butter bites and I'll show you guys those. So this is the tea I like to drink at night. It is from this brand, Traditional Medicinals, and it's their Nighty Night Tea. It has passion flower in it. I don't know what's in here, but it is so good. I won't necessarily say it makes me sleepy, I don't know, but it just tastes so good. It does like calm me down and just like make me relaxed, but I wouldn't say it like puts me to sleep per se. I also really like to drink peppermint tea at night. Um, I'll go back and forth between that one and the nighty night. So good. I'm definitely a tea girl. I have to have my tea every night. Okay, let me go get the date things out of the freezer. Here they are. They look so yummy. I did three of them. Actually, me and Usama went to this restaurant in North Carolina, and they had these as a dessert. They were called Dickers for, like, date Snickers. So it was this with, um, I think, some almonds inside and then covered in chocolate and then... Um, sprinkled with salt and they were delicious which that would be so easy to make at home but i just didn't feel like doing the chocolate mm. but it's funny because daylight savings just happened and so i wonder if next year ramadan will be before the time change and then we'll get to break our fast like earlier well i guess it's different in different parts of the world but here in texas Maghrib is at like 7.30 and obviously towards the end it'll probably be more like 8 p.m. So for as long as I can remember that I've been fasting, Maghrib has been like super late. I even remember when it was at like 8.45 or 9. Um, so now that it's like, you know, obviously goes back every year, I wonder if next year it'll be like before the time changes. It would be amazing breaking your fast at like 6 p.m. 
wow that would be heavenly some of my favorite meals to eat during ramadan um lentil soup is a must with like almost every meal like i just can't break my fast without some sort of soup and lentil soup is my favorite oh my god it's so good we also really like doing like little manaish cheese pies zatar pies and i feel like towards the beginning of ramadan like everyone's cooking like super elaborate meals like going all out and then towards the end people like you know you get sick of cooking and you're like okay maybe we'll just get chipotle today but i'm excited because i think this year we're gonna do our annual like family ramadan iftar party that we do at our house we haven't done it the past like two three years because of covid but before that we literally did it every year ever since i was a child and it was so fun we invite like all of our family friends there's like 50 people here and my parents just cook and there's like so much food and dessert i'm sure you guys do something similar but it's just so fun so i'm excited to inshallah do it again this year but it's gonna be so weird just being me and naeem i'm so sad that amanda's not here i miss her so much she is coming down this weekend though and so she'll be here from friday to tuesday so we'll get to spend a little bit of ramadan with her and like i said i'm just trying to soak in these last moments of this being my last ramadan at home like i cannot believe that it's crazy because i feel like when you're younger you're like oh one day i'll get married or like one day this will happen and then like one when the time comes you're like what the heck like how did time go by that fast and like how is this actually happening i don't know that's how i feel with like all of this wedding and like just basically growing up things i'm like whoa like how is it finally happening to me i'm super super thankful and honestly i'm happier than i've ever been and i can't believe that i'm saying that because that wasn't the case for a long time i feel like i have gone through like so many changes um in the past couple years but i'm finally at a place where i'm just so happy and content with myself so we truly have done this together i love you guys so much i'm gonna go start editing this vlog this was a really long clip it was eight minutes i don't know if this will be the end of the vlog or if i'm gonna vlog a little bit tomorrow but if it is then i love you guys and i'll see y'all in the next one bye guys